everyone, welcome to the Final Cut, Mark the Movie Man here, and today we're going to take a look at the short film called The Year of the Ox. Now it's brought to us by director Rob Sepulveda, and it tells the story of an organized crime gang in Chicago Chinatown that's being challenged by an unknown force. And we basically see the events unfold as this gang tries to investigate and interrogate to see what this force is so they can try to squash it, because it's really causing them some serious headaches in their business. It's a short film, okay, but in the time that it is that it runs, it tells a nice complete story, which I really liked. I enjoyed the script of this film. The dialogue did not seem forced or cheesy. It seemed natural for the characters, and it, the story in general flowed along nicely. So the editing was done well with this film. Uh, I also liked the look. The production design looked very professional. I loved the outfits and the char uh, costuming of the characters, especially Ron Fitzgerald's hero, a uh, white fan. He has his dark mystery to him that just leaves you wanting to know more about him but not getting that information so you're like man I really want to find out more about this character because he's pretty badass and his wardrobe fits that as well so really like the production design in general of your The Ox okay and also a great performance in here by Kelsey Zukowski should be mes me mentioned uh, she's showing uh, her acting chops in this film and definitely showing how she's an up and coming actress that you want to keep your eye on in the independent film scene she uh, had a number of shorts she's been in so far, including What They Say, an award-winning short that's hit the festival scene uh, within the last year, and she was in a great named short called Bacon, which makes me hungry just thinking about it, okay? What also left me hungry was this film. I wanted to see more of the events unfold. I wanted to see more of what happens to these characters, and in fact, after watching it, I did ask the uh, writer, uh, director, uh, about the film, and seeing that this seems like there should be more there, and he says, yes, this is kind of more of a teaser production that it's meant for a larger project and oh that just i'm like cool i can't wait to see what that larger project's going to be but that only you know, a larger project can only happen with support from horror fans and indie fans and just film fans, okay? Because Hollywood's not delivering. So we got to look elsewhere. And the independent cinema scene, especially independent horror, I, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but it's just true that that's where we're seeing a lot more original content come out of. And Year of the Ox is definitely one of those that deserves your time. Check them out if they're at a festival near you. I believe they're going to be at the Chicago Film Festival November 11th. Also, uh, check out their Facebook page. I'll put the link down below as as well as their IMDb page, okay? I think you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised with what you find. Also, uh, movie makers out there, you can still have time to submit to MadisonHorror.net for the Madison Horror Film Festival coming up beginning of November. They're still taking submissions till the end of September. Uh, definitely maybe worth your time. Check them out at the MadisonHorror.net. Link for submissions uh, on the webpage there. Also, we're less than a month away from the Oshkosh Horror Film Festival. Getting jazzed for that. Hope to bring you coverage for that. They've already released some of the movies uh, that there are going to be shown at that festival. I'll put a link down below for that because you should check it out. Definitely some interesting uh, shows there and are going to be your time worth your time if you're in the Wisconsin area. Come to Oshkosh and Madison for both their festivals because independent cinema is where it's at for some fun horror films and I just can't wait to see what comes next. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep the tickets.